Greetings to all and welcome to the series of lectures on criticism core course 8 today we'll be dealing with gerard jennet unit 1 c part 3rd now in the previous video we have seen who was gerard jennet and what were his basic contributions in this video we'll be dealing with the five aspects of his narrative discourse which are order, frequency, duration, voice and mood. Gerard Jennett thought that these five aspects are the most important aspects that make up a narrative, a narrative discourse. The first one is order. What is order according to Gerard Jennett? According to Jared, uh, Gerard Jenner, the sequence of events in relation to the order of narration is called order. It is an ellipsis or flashback when an event may have taken place before the actual narration. It becomes prolipsis if the event may not yet have taken place and is merely anticipated, indicated or predicted. It is anachrony when there is a discordance between a story, narrated plot and, and plot and the order of events as they occurred and not the order in which they are narrated. Then comes metalipsis. Metalipsis implies there may be a movement between one narrative level and the another. After order, we come to the second important aspect of the narrative discourse that is duration what is duration duration is the rhythm at which the events take place according to gerard jennett there are four speeds of narration ellipsis that is when the rhythm of the events that takes place are infinitely rapid then we have summary that is when the events take place at a relatively rapid speed then you have scene, that is, when the rhythm at which the events takes place is relatively slow. And then you have descriptive, that is, when there is no progress in the story or when there is a pause in the story. The third important aspect of Gerard Jenner's narratology discourse was frequency. What do you mean by frequency? Frequency is the extent of repetition in a narrative or how many times has an event happened in the story. According to him, there are three types of frequencies, singulative narration, repeating narrative or iterative narrative. Now what are these narratives? Now, what is singulative narration? It implies narrating once what happened once. That is, relating n times what happened n times. Then what is repeating narrative? Repeating narrative implies recounting more than once what happened once. Then you come to iterative narrative. Iterative narrative implies relating one time what has happened several times. The another important aspect is voice. Now, voice can be of five types. It can be homodigetic, heterodigetic, intradigetic, extradigetic, or autodigetic. Now we'll see what are these type of voices. Now, the extradigetic narrator is about the story. The heterodigetic narrator is the one who does not participate in the story. When characters become narrators, they are intradigetic. If such an intradigetic narrator is also one of the characters in the story narrated by him or her, then it becomes a homodigetic intradigetic narrator. And when a character narrates her or his own tale, they may be described as autodigetic narratives. The last important aspect 
of narrative discourse is mood according to gerard jennett mood can be divided into further two categories one is based on the distance and the other is based on the perspective according to distance or the relationship of the narration narration to what it narrates this distance may be diegetic or mimetic in diegetic narration there is a plain recounting of the story and in mimetic narration the representation is of the story character situation or event as it is based on perspective or what is commonly called point of view or focus focus determines the extent to which the narrator allows us to pen- penetrate into the character or the event narrative focus alternates and shifts throughout the narrative and may be of two kinds either it can be a parallel or it can be a parallel in parallel it implies where the narrator withholds information from the reader which the reader ought to receive according to the prevalent quick focus in parallels where the narrator presents information to the reader which the reader according to the prevailing focus ought not to receive thus we saw what were the views of gerard jennett on narratology in the next video we'll be dealing with another critics till then thank you